Hey, what's going on, sports fans? Another day, October 20th, 2014. Today I'm going to talk to you guys about a topic that was requested by one of our loyal uh, subscribers and viewers <clears throat> uh, with a screen name, uh, Bang Bang. I'm sure you guys have seen him as he comments uh, regularly on, on my channel. Uh, anyway, um, screen name Bang Bang on YouTube says, Hey June, please do a video about your boy Pacquiao permanently moving to 140 <clears throat> after Chris uh, Algeri fight and will fight Danny Garcia as per Freddie Roach. He says, I would love to hear your opinion since you're an avid Pacquiao fan. <clears throat> and he asked me, is Pacquiao docking Mayweather? Uh, first off, I would like to thank you again, uh, screen name Bang Bang, um, for, uh, for giving me this article that was uh, published, I believe this was about a few days ago. The uh, article was published about uh, four days ago, October 16th. And this article was uh, Danny Garcia, uh, next fight. Freddie Roach wants Swift for Manny Pacquiao after Chris Algieri bout. <clears throat> okay, here we go. My thoughts on this. Let's start with this. To me, Manny Pacquiao is not the type of person, not the type of boxer that dodge and duck anybody. Uh, I just don't think so. I think Manny Pacquiao, to be honest with you, would rather lose done not to fight an opponent but you don't have to believe me like I said before that's my opinion whatever I say it's it's coming from me not from anybody else now my take on that of why Freddie Roach wants Manny Pacquiao to go down to 140 and I'm sure it's not permanently I'm sure you know as, as we all know many uh, boxers they tend to up go up and down in weight as they wish and if they can but if Freddie Roach like he said wants Pacquiao to come down to 140 mainly for simple reasons I believe that Freddie Roach is looking into the big picture just like any other trainers and and friend of, of a boxer um, at 140, Manny Pacquiao has a lot more opponents and a lot more competitive um, opponents, that is, in that catch weight. Obviously, no secret that Freddie Roach's target is Danny Swift Garcia, which is a very good fighter, but like I said, he is at 140. He is undefeated, if you guys didn't know that. Um, and there's uh, Lucas Matisse there. There's you know there, there's all kinds of possibilities out there. I only can, I could only name a few, but there's plenty out there. There's plenty of guys that act, can actually move down to 140 if they want to. I mean there's you know Keith Thurman. There's I mean there's you know a bunch of possibilities. And I would also like to tell you guys this. I believe Manny Pacquiao. At 5'6", and I highly, highly doubt Manny Pacquiao is still 5'6", because he's now in his 30s, mid-30s. He's no longer in his 20s. I believe Manny Pacquiao now, right now, at the moment, is between 5'5", five, five or 5'5", five, um, five, five, five and a half. Um, I highly, highly doubt that he's five six. And at five five and a half, between five five and uh, between five and five five and a half, you know, Manny Pacquiao on a daily basis, on a um, off season, let's just call it that way. As much as Pacquiao is so active, he's very athletic. He's very energetic. He does a lot of things. He plays basketball. He goes to the gym religiously. He's always busy. A guy like that burns a lot of calories every day. You know, he's not just going around shopping and talking to the news reporter and stuff like that. He is actually 
religiously at the gym in basketball. He does that all the time. So I would say, I would be guessing, Manny Pacquiao's average weight is between 140 and 144. But like I said, you don't have to believe me, that's just my opinion. I believe, I strongly believe that Manny Pacquiao, regardless of what you put him as, 144, 147, whatever, <clears throat> Between 140 and 147, even, either way, he can always make weight. Manny Pacquiao has always and is always been in shape. Um, he's never ever out of shape. Yes, he has lost fight, the last two fights in the last few years. A controversial uh, a loss with, with Bradley and a knockout from Manuel Marquez. But it didn't mean he wasn't in shape. Manny Pacquiao, like I said, has always been in shape. It has always been in shape. Um, I also believe that Manny Pacquiao, by him going down to 140, like what Roach wants, will be much faster. In my opinion, and I am sure a lot of you guys will disagree with me, but at welterweight weight, 147, Manny Pacquiao, let me say this again, at 147 welterweight, Manny Pacquiao is the fastest, fastest of all, faster than Floyd Mayweather. Yeah, I know, some of you guys are going to disagree, blah, 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 whatever. That's your opinion. My opinion is this, Manny Pacquiao can gain and lose weight and still maintain the same strength and power, but... If he loses 6 to 8 to 10 pounds, he will be a beast. He will be much faster. Contrary to popular belief, like I said, Manny Pacquiao is faster than Floyd Mayweather, in my opinion. Look at the, the fights. Look at both of their fights. Floyd Mayweather may have a quick hands. May. But Manny Pacquiao is faster. Um, I am going to save <clears throat> the last question uh, that I was asked for last. I'm going to answer that later on um, in, in, with explanation. Um, the question was, is Manny Pacquiao ducking Floyd Mayweather? I will answer that in a little while. Meanwhile, let's talk about more stuff. Um, like I said, Manny Pacquiao has al always been in good shape. And he's already in good shape. He's always at the gym playing basketball and doing other kind of stuff. He's a gym addict, gym rat, and basketball fanatic. Um, but as you guys know, uh, he's fighting a jury um, at a catch weight of 144. Um, and that's only what three pounds under um, water weight at 147. And this is the truth of the matter, folks. <clears throat> I agree with Freddy Roach, and I believe there is only one good reason, and God knows what it is, why Manny Pacquiao should stay at 147. And, that, and that's because to fight Floyd Mayweather. And it's very frustrating to maintain that weight at 5'5", five, five, or even less. Or 5'6", let's just put 5'6". When the guy that you're trying to fight with does not want to fight you. You're trying to maintain that, that weight. That's a lot of weight for a guy that's 5'6". That is active, very energetic, you know, a gym rat, you know, a basketball fanatic. It's very, it's very, very hard to maintain that weight. You have to literally just chug food and, and you know, uh, um, slow down a bit to, 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 to maintain that weight. I guarantee you, like I said, Manny Pacquiao probably weighs between 140 and 144 
on an average, daily average. But at 147 that he, he want, they want him to maintain, there's not a lot of options there for him. Floyd Mayweather does not want to fight him. There's no reason to stay at that level when it's running out of opponents. At 140, he's opened up a whole new, um, you know, uh, group of people. And there's more possibility. Not to mention, like I said, the most important is boxing is winning, right? So not to mention, he will dominate in much faster at 140. Who would not want to dominate in boxing? You know? I guarantee you, if Floyd Mayweather says he'll fight Manny Pacquiao, he can gain that weight back to 147 or what, or whatever they want. That's no problem. But it's smarter for Pacquiao to stay to go down at 140 and fight some very very good opponents like Danny Swift Garcia, you know, for title and and you know make money and make the fans happy rather than sitting on our butts and waiting for Floyd Mayweather fight, that's never ever going to happen. Because as you guys know, Floyd Mayweather is thinking about fighting Amir Khan. And it's not going to change. He's probably going to fight Amir Khan twice. He's going to beat him in May. He's going to have a rematch in September and end, end his career 49-0. As we all know, Amir Khan is a good fighter, a good boxer. But he's not exactly at Floyd Mayweather's level, nor Pacquiao, contrary to popular belief and for some people's opinion, which I have been criticized almost every hour on the hour on, on the comments that I shouldn't be saying something about Amir Khan. But bros, sometimes, sometimes truth hurts. When, when I say things and it hurts people and it pokes people, about their idol, about their boxers, about the boxer that they rule for. Amir Khan is not Pacquiao or damn Mayweather's level. Simple as that. And that's all I'm going to say about that. There's no reason for Floyd Mayweather to be fighting Amir Khan rather than Pacquiao. No, none, zero, no excuses. Unless Floyd Mayweather declares he wants to fight Manny Pacquiao now, then there's no reason for Pacquiao to keep his, his hopes up and keep waiting at that wait for Floyd Mayweather to fight him. There's no reason. So, to make, more, to make his career more interesting and more opponents and more money and guarantee that he'll be faster at it, why not go down and move down to 140? That's good. That's good to me. And I'm sure that's good for Freddie Roach and probably a lot easier for Pacquiao. I'm not saying that his opponents are going to be easy to beat. But he will be a lot faster at that. Anyway, <clears throat> as we all know, like I said, I'm going to say this again. Pacquiao has always been quicker. He's always been quick regardless of, you know, uh, who is he's fighting. Uh, who's his opponent, what the game plan is. He's always been fast and quick and stuff like that. Look at his, all his fights for the last freaking decade. He's always been quick on his feet, quick, fast. To me, he's faster than Floyd Mayweather. And that's, you know, and I'm going to leave it at that. Anyway, to answer bang, bang, is, is Pacquiao ducking Floyd Mayweather? My answer is no. No, no, and no. Pacquiao will never, ever duck and dodge Floyd Mayweather. He, Pacquiao will never do that. Pacquiao is not the type of person that will duck and dodge Floyd Mayweather or any opponent in that matter. I guarantee you, even if he moves down in weight at 140, and Floyd Mayweather all of a sudden have a miracle and decides to call out Manny Pacquiao, he can gain that weight back. That's no problem. Manny Pacquiao is in shape, always been in shape, and is always going to be in shape. And so does Floyd Mayweather. But to stay at that 
level at that weight catch hoping to get a fight from Floyd it's just ludicrous it's really ludicrous um to answer your question no Manny Pacquiao would in my opinion Manny Pacquiao would rather lose than not to fight an opponent I hope that answered your questions uh, uh, bang bang uh, that's the screen name of the uh, YouTube channel um, thank you for that article I enjoyed it I enjoyed reading it and like I said before if uh, some of your loyal viewers and subscribers have any articles that you would like me to, to share and talk about and let you guys know what my opinion is on it guys all you gotta do is just hit me up on, on my YouTube uh, channel either on the discussion area of my YouTube or on the comment section um, I'll try to get to it as soon as I can like I said before I may not answer all of your questions all of your comments right away but I do see it because I got a um, notification on my cell phone so even if I'm at work I can get that notification it's just that I can't answer you at the moment um, but I do get all of it I read all of it and again thank you thank you so much for visiting my channel thank you so much for watching my videos and like I said if you guys have any more articles for me to, to, to share with you before I find it myself please share it with me and we'll talk about it on YouTube and again thank you for um, giving me this article to talk about tonight um, once again thank you uh, bang bang screen name uh, and I will talk to you guys in the next one peace